What an opportunity you just gave yourself. You could have fueled yourself with something like coffee or you could have got an energy drink, but instead you decided to feed the mind and feed the soul. Because you realize that there's more to this than just having something for a moment. You don't need a jolt. What you need is a will. A fire ignited inside of you that will not quit. It doesn't matter what you faced yesterday. Doesn't matter what mental traffic you have. Today is such a gift to you that there's no way you're going to waste it. When it feels scary to jump, Ian, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. When people can't get up in the morning, I'm going to tell you why. Because they can predict the feeling of everything that's going to happen in their life. And their bodies resign to the familiar. It says, oh, another mundane day. But remember when you were a kid and you were going on a field trip? What happened then? You were up dressed and ready to go before your parents were up because you knew something unexpected was going to happen. That's how we should live our lives. Waking up with the understanding that you expect the unexpected and something unusual should happen in our life as a result of our efforts. The only way anything gets accomplished, you got to work hard. I can't remember what the f*** in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read again. Still not getting it. Read again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And guess what happened? I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, okay, we're going to figure it out because he is not going to stop. And just stop wasting the opportunities that are in front of you. You'd be who knows how much more efficient. 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. It's off the charts. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two-foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's gonna get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out, ain't nothing wrong with the seed. Seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. Now I can appreciate that life is hard. I can appreciate that it's a struggle. I can appreciate that there's all kinds of things not going your way. But guess what? They're never gonna, unless you make them. So you may sit there and look at yourself and maybe you're even buying into the media. Maybe you're even believing that because you were born a certain race or you were born to certain parents or you had shitty parents or you've suffered from depression or you're overweight or all these motherfucking things that they put in your face to give you the exact excuse as to why you can't achieve what it is you want to achieve. You've got six months left in the year. That's a lot of game to be played. You may be down by 10 runs, but guess what? People just like you, people just like you, people with the same situation as you, people with harder circumstances than you, have gutted it up and gritted it out and came out a winner before you. Life is not easy, it is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair, it never was, it isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it and get on with it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. 
If you want to be great, you want to be the best motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. It is. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you can do, you've arrived. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. Be motivated, not just halfway, but absolutely motivated. I have a very simple answer for that. Here and now. That's it. You, you want to improve? You want to get better? You want to get on a workout program or a clean diet? You want to start a business? You want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer? Where do you start? You start right here. And when do you start? You start right now. Be channeled with your energy. Be focused with your conversations. Enjoy life with thrill and purpose, but understand that there is a reason God gave you today and you're going to make the most of it. Meaning there was a certain point in all of our lives where somebody saw something in us when we didn't see it in ourselves and we took that level of belief and let it propel us into the next dimension of our lives. And so the thing we have to remember in defining moments, and what I mean by defining moments, moments that define us and moments that break us is... What about the people that saw something in me when I couldn't see it in myself? What about the people that invested in me when they didn't have to? How can I quit on them?